Yo, what's up? It's Steph Cody, and welcome to another vid. Today is April 29, 2019, and this day marks a very special one year anniversary for my first ever rap song called That's Just Life. So much has happened between that moment that I released that song and now. But before I get into all that, first and foremost, I just want to thank God for blessing me with this opportunity, and of course, I want to thank my family for their constant support. Every video, every song that I've put out, they've watched and listened to all of them, and I'm just really grateful for all their support and the blessings that's been given to me. All right, so with every anniversary, I think it's always important to look at um, how it all started and how you got to this anniversary. So. With that being said, I'm going to go into a bit of the backstory to how my rap career started. I'll try to keep it brief, but don't hold me to it. So I've already talked about this a bit in my previous video for my life album intro. And that's going to be linked in the description if you guys haven't seen it. But basically, my friend ZZ Zebo uh, got me into making rap songs. Um, he's really like he's been a big help in my whole like rap career so i'm giving him a shout out go check out his channel he's like he's my boy so yeah um although he's the first one to rap and produce music among my friends uh turns out i'm actually the one that inspired him to start his own youtube channel he wanted to make videos for people to watch like what i've been doing ever since eighth grade yeah, so he just wanted to put out something on his YouTube channel, so he started doing rap music on his channel. So I kind of indirectly caused myself to start this whole rap journey, <laughs> if you think about it. The beginning wasn't easy though. I never listened to rap music before that. I thought that rap music took zero skill, just had to find a beat and mumble random words that rhyme over it. Well, some songs are like that, but let's get back to how That's Just Life was made. I used this app called Rap Chat and just started to listen to some of the beats on there. I found a beat called Narcos by this beat producer called The Misconception which is the beat you hear in the final version of That's Just Life. But it actually wasn't the first beat for my first ever attempt at rapping. So here's a bit of that first take. Uh, a bit of a warning, it is cringy. And here's the first try on the beat I actually end up using. Hey, I'm about to just freestyle, y'all. It's just life. You just gotta go with the flow, man. It's just life. You wanna grow up and get a wife? Alright, but first. You gotta fill it with thirst So you can chase those dreams Instead of just making memes People take life for granted Why is life so, 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 so slanted? I go by Steph Cody I'm sad to say I still, still don't have a bae Alright, I think that's enough So, at the time, my favorite rapper was NF and he actually had this pretty famous song called Let You Down and I'm pretty sure you guys have heard it. If not, I'm sure it's worth a listen. The reason I mentioned NF was because in his other song called My Life, um, he said something like this. That's just my life, my life, my life, my life. And that kind of inspired the chorus of my first ever rap song. That's just my Life, life, just my life. 
So, here we are. A whole year has passed since I came out with that song. And it actually amazes me that I've made a total of 18 rap songs that I posted on my channel. That includes all my collabs with my friends and the nine songs I made for my first rap album called Life, which actually included a remix of That's Just Life. I personally think it improved, but others still prefer the original. Based off people's reactions, I've actually made some songs that are pretty catchy and others that I probably could have spent more time making. Many people have their own opinions on which of my songs are my best ones, but I honestly think that my more recent ones such as Hometown Home Team or Number 9 or even my collabs Misunderstood or Animals are really my best ones. Look, I want to wrap this up by saying this. Without my rap music, I honestly wouldn't be who I am today. It's helped me make new friends, it's made me like a mini celebrity, and I always have something to talk about when I meet new people. I'm really grateful for all the success I've had thus far, and as y'all know, you can't get better at something without trying it out in the first place. So with that being said, that's just life was my beginning. But I've still got so much more room to grow. Who knows what'll happen in the next year. I mean, another year passes, maybe I'm a full-on celebrity by then. Who knows? All I know is you guys shouldn't be afraid to step out your comfort zone. Like, don't be afraid to fail or be embarrassed. Like, just do what you want to do and like, who cares what they think? Okay, listen to them once in a while because like sometimes criticism could go a long way. I mean, look at my beginning. It wasn't the best, but I just wanted to keep getting better from then. So I leave you with that advice. Good luck with your careers. Chase your dreams. And I hope you guys will be here every time I hit a milestone. All right, till next time.